Hi everyone, it's Jenny. Um, I'm sorry I've been away for a little while. I've been really sick. Um, I'm still not feeling 100%, but I just wanted to get one video in um, in case I have a relapse, which I have a feeling is coming. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about using the InStyler. Um, the two major appliances that I use on my hair um, are the InStyler, which is this little rotating flat iron is what they call it. Um, I use this primarily when I want to flip my hair back sort of like that old retro Charlie's Angels kind of look. Um, when I want to wear my hair under, um, as you've seen in my prior video, part two of the hot oil treatment, I use this. This is a rotating flat iron. I don't know if you can see it rotating or not. Let me see. It rotates in different directions. Wait a minute, there I am. And um, I use this when I want to have that whole um, smooth look. Not flat pancake head, but just make it you know, so that it's smooth and silky. Um, I'll do a tutorial on that next. Um, I'm doing the InStyler today only because it's easier for me, a little less time. Um, I just got out of the shower and I just conditioner cleansed my hair. And I'm going to be putting some of this Lanza Healing Strength Serum into it. Um, just helps keep the frizzies at bay. I use about that much. And I try to work it in um, from from about m midway down first and get all this and rub and rub and rub and get that oil in there heat protectant then I start to massage it back in to my crown and scalp and keep going and then I comb it in really well and please forgive my roots I know I need to touch up badly but we won't talk about that Shh. let's pretend we don't see the roots coming in so here I am just combing it through and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow dry my hair um, when I use this styler I have to dry my hair about 80 85 percent of the way and I do actually style it with my hair dryer I have a, a special brush that I you know smooth it and then I fine-tune it with this um, when I'm using the in styler um, I really don't do anything special to it and there's no rhyme or reason I just kind of blow it dry and it can be as frizzy it doesn't matter because the installer is going to tame it all and get it where it needs to be so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to take my hair dryer and um, I have a T3 um, this one I originally bought from QVC it was a today's special value it came with um, it was the white one with the travel size dryer <clears throat> And since I bought it, I think it was in 09, it's broken three times. Um, it overheated, it stopped working. But I have to say that T3's customer service is fantastic. Um, I had very little downtime. I had to send the, the whole dryer back. They sent me a brand new one, no questions asked. And they even sent me free product, you know, for my inconvenience. So as many people that might complain about this dryer, you know, that it doesn't work well or this or that, I absolutely love it and I highly recommend it. It's expensive, but um, as long as they stand behind the product, if there's a problem, which they do, and I can vouch for that three times already, um, and I have the travel size for when I go down, and I also have a Sidhu that I bought on sale at Falica, but um, it's a great hair dryer. So uh, rather than have you sit here watching me dry my hair, I'm going to go ahead and do that and then come back and you can um, watch how I do the InStyler to make my hair curl back. Okay, so I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Thanks.